I'm Zach Nefron with this breaking news bulletin. There has been a recent dehydration event leading to chaos at homeostasis. There has been a rapid response from the pituitary and adrenal glands. We now cross live to Roger Hypothalamus at the kidneys. Thanks, Zach Nefron. ADH constantly regulates and balances the amount of water in your blood. Higher water concentration increases the volume and pressure of your blood. Osmotic sensors work with ADH to maintain water levels. ADH increases the permeability of the walls of the distal tubules. Due to this dehydration event, there has been a spike in ADH, released from the pituitary gland leading to a higher water reabsorption. Most individuals have never heard about aldosterone, yet it plays an important role in cardiovascular health. Aldosterone is produced in the cortex of the adrenal glands, which are located above the kidneys. Aldosterone affects the body's ability to, regen to regulate blood pressure. It sends the signal to the organs like the kidney and colon. That can increase the amount of sodium the body sends into the bloodstream, or the amount of potassium released in the urine. The hormone also causes the bloodstream to reabsorb water with the sodium to increase blood volume. All of these actions are integral to increasing and lowering blood volume. Indirectly, the hormone also helps maintain the blood's pH and electrolyte levels. And it's back to the studio, yo, yo, yo. Hi, I'm Zach Nefron, back in the studio with my close friend and kidney expert, Roger Hypothalamus. Thanks, Zach. We will now take questions from the public regarding any issues today on today's dehydration event. Hi, this is Blood. Hi, Blood. How can we help you today? Um, I was just wondering what will happen to me if I have too little ADH. Well, low levels of antidiuretic hormone, or known as ADH, will cause the kidneys to excrete too much water. Urine volume will increase, leading to dehydration and a fall in blood pressure. I was also wondering how aldosterone affects my pressure. Aldosterone also causes water to be reabsorbed along with sodium. This increases blood volume and therefore blood pressure. Thank you. No worries, blood. Any time. And it looks like we have another concerned caller phoning in. Hi, this is Blatter. Hi Blatter, how can we help you today? I was just wondering if the release of ADH can affect my weight. Let me tell you this one, Roger. Okay, Zach. Yes, it actually can. When the body is dehydrated, there is a raise in ADH secretion and water retention causing an increase in blood pressure. ADH travels in the bloodstream to the kidneys where it alters the kidneys to become more permeable by water by temporarily inserting water channels into the kidney tubules. Water moves out of the kidneys through the water channels, reducing urine volume. The water is reabsorbed into the capillaries, therefore lowering blood pressure and affecting the amount of weight it produced. Thank you. Anytime. Hello? Hi, this is the pancreas. Hello, pancreas. Um, I was just wondering, is it true that ADH is guilty of causing problems in the body such as diabetes? Over to you, Roger. Yes, central diabetes in sipidus is marked by a decrease in either the production of ADH by your hypothalamus or the release of ADH from your pituitary gland. Common symptoms include excessive urination, which is called polyuria, followed by extreme thirst, which is called polydipsia. Thanks for that. Hello, and we have another concerned caller phoning in. Hi, this is the brain. Hi, brain. Where can I find the production of aldosterone? Well, aldosterone is produced in the cortex of the adrenal glands, which are located above the kidneys. Ooh, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Hello, caller. Hi, this is Kidney. Hey, Kidney. I was just wondering when ADH is put into action. When dehydration or hemorrhaging occurs, that has caused a loss of body fluids. Thank you. You're welcome. Our next caller. Hi, I'm a hormone corn redden. How can we help you? I was just wondering what my role is in the body. Well, when the body detects low sodium in the kidneys, the glomerulus releases renin, a hormone. Renin then moves to the liver, where it is converted to angiotensin, a protein. This protein has the ability to constrict the size of blood vessels, which aims to increase blood pressure. This protein also stimulates the adrenal gland, which makes aldosterone. 
This then triggers reabsorption of sodium and return to normal functioning is achieved. Oh, thank you. Anytime.